Hi everybody, you are watching tutorials. My name is Alex and today I'm gonna show you the most convenient, most flexible way how to draw several styles of mustaches in Adobe Illustrator. So you can apply this technique for your logos, illustration and even portraits. No drawing skills required at all and just couple of tricks with a stroke panel. As a bonus, I will show you how to tune them in this sticky kind of effect via the graphic style. So you can apply this style by clicking just one button in Adobe Illustrator. So let's get started with a new document. I'm gonna size this document with 1920 by 1080 pixels and start by by picking up the guides and this step can be omitted by the way. Ctrl R to open the rulers and then navigate to the top of your rulers and grab the guide. I'm gonna place it like here. Then grab your arc tool and holding shift and alt on sh or shift and option on your mark. Create an arc. I'm gonna add a stroke to this arc and set it to black. Click OK. Now I'm gonna hold Shift and rotate this arc to 45 degrees so we can achieve a smile like illustration. Then I'm gonna increase the stroke weight to 50 points. Click OK. Now go to this drop down menu on your right and set this profile, width profile number one. Very nice. Let's go and grab the add anchor point tool or click plus. And I'm gonna add anchor point right in the middle. And in order to do this, your smart guides should tune on. So control U, command U to tune your smart guides on. So let's do it again. Click to add the add anchor point. Now grab your direct selection tool and select this anchor point holding shift key to move it to the straight line push it like so so we draw so let's customize them but before let's increase the stroke weight and make it duplicate now guys select this anchor points on the sides with your direct selection tool holding shift key on your sides and with this scale tool Hold the left mouse button key and move to the bottom to really control the shape of your mustaches. Guys, it's the first way how you control mustaches. Another way, just start with the same arc tool. And this time you can rotate it to 70, 66 let's say 66 pixels again increase the stroke weight this time i'm gonna increase it to 120 points go to this width profile and set the width profile to 4 here then go to the advanced stroke options clicking on the stroke title and from this drop down menu, flip the stroke, these icons on the bottom. Then go to this round join, round cap. So we have the first half of our mustache. I'm gonna rotate it a bit to 55. Grab the reflect tool or click O. Or if you can find your reflect tool, just hold left mouse button on the rotate tool to open the menu. Then hold alt or option key, navigate to around the right side, right edge of this object and open the reflect dialog box. Set the axis of your re reflection to vertical and click copy. So we have another type of moustaches and for this type of moustaches I'm gonna also increase the stroke weight to around 180 then grab your direct selection tool select these points on the sides 
and with the scale tool selected now you can adjust the type and create an appearance you want guys all kind of mustaches sorry and for these mustaches i want to change the angle and then make a duplicate now let's play a trick and add the sticky appearance i'm gonna select them both go to the object path outline stroke then go to the pathfinder and combine them like so now let's put them on the dark background so i can see a white stroke and add the white stroke guys go to the advanced stroke options and click on this icon to move it to outside increase the stroke weight to around 10 guys it gives you this kind of speckles and to get rid of these speckles you can either set the round joint or uh, decrease the limit but last option i should admit doesn't lead to very nice results so i stick with the round joints and round caps now go to the effect and drop shadow and i came with these results guys opacity six seven uh, percent uh, x offset value to three pixels y offset value to two pixels and blue to three pixels and also i have changed the color to 4f 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 click ok to apply the drop shadow remember that you can always change the appearance here on the appearance panel so don't matter for example here i want to increase the blue to on two points and increase the offset values on one point, uh, one point each so i can see it more clearly graphic style keep selected your mustaches and click on this little button new graphic style on the bottom of the graphic panel so once your graphic style is saved you can now grab any other artworks let's say i want to grab this mustaches that i also create using second technique but my arc was inclined in the different angle i'm gonna grab this mustaches and put it on my layer and then just click on this graphic style to apply the same value so round caps 10 pixels stroke white and of course drop shadow that you can always change and yes guys you can always create a new graphic style you need to break the link and then you can modify somehow your artwork and click on this icon to create a new graphic style and as always guys if you're feeling lazy you can always go to the tutorial.net just follow the link in the description to the lot that paul gentleman said mustaches cylinders and other stuff all of them are vector and available for you for free for commercial and personal use or click on the button on top of your screen thank you for watching have a great day